Destiny Jesus has become a full-time Fortnite coach. Destiny Jesus is someone who for the past six months has become renowned for his educational content. Alongside this though, he is someone who's also competed and although not qualifying for the Fortnite World Cup, he has proved that he's a competent player and in fact the teachings that he puts in place and the educational content that he puts out is able to work in practice. Um, examples of this would obviously be him qualifying, he placed 42nd in both week 10 and week 6 of the Juro Fortnite World Cup qualifiers and he has just announced that he's going to become a full-time coach. Now, obviously this is a big deal. There's not a lot of full-time coaches um, in Fortnite. Um, he has announced that he's going to be working with players for all regions. So he's not currently signed to an organization and dedicated to one team as a coach, but he's doing a lot of freelance work with different players. And the first player he's announced is Benji Fishy. Benji, who's obviously a top-class player, a world-class player, one of the best in the world, um, someone who we recently had on the podcast and someone who's had a lot of success in the past couple of months. Benji's obviously a heavy favourite going into the World Cup, currently ranking number one for EU in Rose and Falls rankings. And obviously, after speaking to Destiny and kind of having a discussion with him about the role he's going to be playing with Benji um, and other players that he will be coaching, which he hasn't announced um, it seems like there's going to be a lot of work being done between the two of them and ultimately I think they complement each other well. Now obviously getting into that, Benji is someone who is so amazing as a player that many many casual fans may question, you know, how can how can Benji be helped by Destiny Jesus? How, how can a player of his calibre need a coach? Um, but obviously that is, that is absurd just when you look at any aspect of competition anywhere, you know, someone always needs help. Um... Looking at Benji, we obviously discussed on my podcast the areas of weakness that he has going into the World Cup, um, what he's looking to improve on. And the first thing that he obviously mentioned was figuring out a dropping spot, a landing spot, how he's going to rotate. Um, obviously, in the World Cup, you're practically playing in the most stacked Fortnite lobby of all time. And, you know, it's a lot more difficult to figure out where to land and rotate. It's not... It's not like you, if you get a bad landing, bad loot, you can just go and WK anyone because every player in the lobby is pretty much insane. Um, this is obviously where Destiny slides in though because now Benji has someone who's going to be able to go out, get him all the statistics, get him all the information he needs to know, do all of the research into the best landing spots and the best rotations for Benji. Um, and obviously with this information, Benji will be able to make an informed decision. Oftentimes, this is something that pros in any sport, in any game... Um, Pro, pro players in any aspect of competition usually don't have enough time to do these things and that's where coaches come into play a coach obviously is going to uh, Destiny Jesus is going to have to dedicate a lot of his time into researching and doing these things and it's going to obviously benefit Benji in that sense we're going to be able to assess this pretty easily just seeing from Benji's success from his landing spots whether he's the engagements he wins on his rotations he, he whether, whether, whether he actually himself credits Destiny Jesus for the success he potentially will have at the Fortnite World Cup will play a big part into that um, another problem that Benji and I discussed on the podcast was his confidence going into the World Cup he expressed how he's someone who throughout his life has always just been very nervous about lots of things um, we spoke about how when he first started playing with Mr. Savage he was very nervous um, people watching on stream at the time could obviously tell that um, but obviously Savage you know understood that he was a great player and Benji overcame those nerves and he is now the player that we know today um, overall I see this being a net positive for Benji as what people may not know is that Destiny Jesus actually spent three years working as a powerlifting coach and if you know anything about you know powerlifting or just any sort of personal training and personal fitness in general um, the qualities that you need to be a good coach and this would be the ability to encourage players, um, or not just players, encourage people, the ability to reassure people, and um, just having the ability to be there for someone and be somebody's friend. Obviously, these are qualities that cater to what Benji needs right now, as obviously Benji feels like he may need to be reassured, feels like he needs to be encouraged, and able to maintain the confidence when he's going to World Cup, because obviously that is his first ever LAN event, and pra practically will be the biggest esports event we've ever had. Um, It'll be interesting to see how obviously this affects him if you know it makes any difference if their relationship um if if their if the relationship even requires that to be something that's put into practice um obviously you never know with with 
help that Destiny gives Benji in other areas, he may not feel like he needs to implement those aspects of his um, personal expertise. Um, obviously, I hope this encourages more players to be involved in coaching. Um, I'm somebody who has been saying for a long time that you know coaching should be a much bigger deal in Fortnite. Um, and then just battle royales in general, I feel like there's a large potential for coaches to be really involved in the way battle royales work. Um, I am someone who has said repeatedly that there are plenty of players who I believe are currently at trying to compete and some players who are competing somewhat successfully um, who I feel like maybe aren't mechanically able to sustain their success or to get to where they want to be. Um, there are players who obviously in an era right now where the game is so mechanically demanding in order to, in order to succeed based off what we've seen in the World Cup qualifiers, players who necessarily won't be able to keep up or won't be able to get very far. Although these players, however, um, are players who, when it comes to the mental aspect of things, they are well ahead of a lot of the competition, easily able to contribute at the highest level when it comes to their mental capacity and their understanding of their game. Um, but obviously, these players probably do not want to commit to coaching now. It's very understandable. Um, it's always easier said than done. Of course, with such with Fortnite being such a young game when it comes to the competitive scene, it is hard if you've been grinding for like a year. It's definitely hard for you to now just say, you know, I'm going to commit to being a coach when you've obviously had this dream that you're working towards. And if you haven't reached it yet, you're going to want to keep trying. Um, you never know. Maybe we'll see after World Cup. That is something that a lot of players do turn to. But as, as for who that is, um, we, we will have to wait to see. Um, looking at Destiny Jesus, though, um, I hope he receives a lot of success in his role. I, um, you know, spoke to him about the decision and why he, he wanted to make this decision to go full time in coaching. And obviously he expressed to me that it came from his fatigue as a player. He uh, felt like he didn't want to have to grind the game competitively eight hours a day anymore. That wasn't what excited him as much anymore. Um, and obviously he's experiencing power, power lifting and coaching power lifting in the past. Um, has was obviously a way for him to say, hey, look, I have the skills to be a coach. I am still in, interested in competitive Fortnite. I make this educational content. I clearly have the mind to be able to contribute at a high level. Why not put those skills together and you know make something of it? I have a lot of respect for this decision as I am someone who did basically the same. I was tired of competing competitively in Fortnite. I didn't think I was good enough to um, take it to, to, to where I wanted to, to go. Uh, and I looked at my skills. I assessed where I was um, in my career. Um, I assessed where I was in my life and what I'm good at and what I enjoy doing. And now I am here making content for you guys. Um, so obviously I, I, I really respect his decision and I hope he's successful in it. A lot of his success will potentially cause organizations to... Um, invest in coaching more right now coaching in Fortnite doesn't seem very marketable it doesn't seem like it's something that is going to pay out a lot and obviously if you're a player it's a lot easier to make money as a player right now than it is in coaching and that therefore not making it as an attractive of a role to, to to fill so hopefully you know he and other coaches like you know people like Donny SC um, have more success in their roles therefore forcing organization to look for coaches um I, I, I want to make a video about how I think coaching can be developed within the Fortnite scene as right now obviously it seems like Epic you know don't have a way of involving coaches into their Fortnite competitive plan obviously if a bunch of organizations and people started investing in coaches it would probably force Epic to kind of reassess that but for the moment in time I don't see it being something that they look into at all um, but obviously you know it's undeniable that coaches are effective you know when looking at when I, I recently spoke to the complexity guys, um, I spoke to complexity Macwood and he obviously expressed, you know, how how much his coach Donny SC has contributed into helping him be able to qualify and looking at the small things that he doesn't necessarily have as much time to look into. Um, obviously these are these are right now the current ways in which a coach can be so effective. And I think when looking at Destiny, it's gonna be really interesting to see how Benji improves and if his improvement is very visible. Um Obviously, when just looking at their, their individual skills and needs, they come together perfectly. Um, obviously, it'll be interesting to see the dynamic between Destiny and other players, 
because um, obviously for Benji it's a perfect match I think but obviously for other players that might not be the case so it'll be interesting to see how successful that, that, that proceeds to be and to see whether more players start to commit to coaching thank you very much for watching